Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're in Paralimni and we're going to have a walk around Paralimni Lake there it is, normally dry in the summer but this time of the year, especially the amount of rain we've had it all fills up and I have been told that the flamingos have arrived I'm not too sure, I can't see any at the moment Oh, one minute, I could see something going on down there on the right. There is a similar lake to this in Larnaca. Also where the flamingos gather in the winter. Oh yeah, I think I can see some straight ahead. Yep, I think they're flamingos. So I'll show you where we are. If you fancy a little walk around this lake. There's super action there, you see, you can park around there. There's loads of parking around there. Great shop. You get all your toys in there. All your sporting goods. You can, you can look out for the video if you like. We have been in there. But today we're going on a nice nature walk. So, park your car there and then come down this slope. Okay. We have been told that one of our viewers, Stephen, walked down here from Brodera and it was as dry as a bone. So don't bother coming down here in the summer guys, it's uh, not that clever down here in the summer, it's dry. So this is the best time of the year to come down here. We had the storm come through a few days ago. Did quite a lot of damage down at Brodara and Panera. You can have a look at the video, storm damage update. And that dumped a lot of water. So I think this place is, should be or is nearly full up. Right, yeah, it's getting muddy now. Um, we need to go right. We need to go right because it okay. comes round here. Can you see? Oh, 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 told you, told you it's getting muddy. Uh, okay, we'll go around this bit here. There we go. Oh, oh. It really is. Uh, I have not got my appropriate shoes on. Um, down a bit, I think. Best to put on appropriate shoes, guys. I think these are going to end up in the washing machine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. a bit unfortunate some people leave the rubbish around right so we're back on this path now it's a bit muddy nearer to the water's edge we'll stay on the path I think we should be able to get a good view of the flamingos as we go round I think we've definitely got to keep to this dirt road or path. It's getting muddy again. I can hear the flamingos. Ugh. Lop, lop. That's it. Wade through. That's it. That's better. Right. Now, where's the path gone? Down here, I think. So let's go around this way. Right, let's get to the water's edge. 
as I said we've had a storm come through a few weeks ago and even the path is really muddy we've got to leave it dry a few days so we can get closer to the water's edge so there we are there are flamingos guys just beyond those bushes but at the moment we can't get near them because of the mud so guys I've left super action and I've come down the main road past Lidl's it's a bit too muddy down there at the moment we thought we'd come down this path here and I can hear the flamingos I think they're behind those bushes nearer to Sodira. What we do, we'll have a little walk down here anyway. See if we can spot something here. And then we can drive around towards the shooting club, which is down the other side of this lake. Don't worry, they're not shooting the flamingos. I think it's a uh, clay pigeon shooting. Yeah, I think they're just beyond those bushes. I can see something on the lake. It's a lot easier to walk along this pavement down where super action is oh, we've got some ducks or mallards coming up on the left enjoying the water oh yeah now I've just spotted the flamingos There's a lot of them. There. See? Just beyond those bushes there and those rushes. And you can see them just behind. Yeah, let's put the video camera up. Yeah, you probably can't see them, guys. But there's hundreds of them down there. Now, if you drive to the traffic lights, turn right towards Sidera. We'll catch up to the lake again and we'll go that way. So here I am back on 1st of April Street. There's Gokinos Supermarket and I'm heading towards the traffic lights. See? I'm going to do a right at the traffic lights. And then that will take me towards Sodira, little village of Sodira. And halfway up that road, we should be able to see the flamingos. Right, we'll draw, turn right here. This is called Four Banks Corner. Except there's not four banks here. There used to be, I do believe. I think there's only two banks left on this corner. There it is, Bank of Cyprus and Alpha Bank. So here we are. There's the road going up towards Sodira. And this is the road going down the side of this lake to the shooting club. The shooting club down there we'll go down there in a minute and have a look around now the lake is really muddy guys we did spot flamingos right out there in the middle or virtual middle you can't get to them at the moment very clever those flamingos let's just go down here see if I can see anything 
now guys can't see them at the moment they're right in the middle over there you can just spot the flamingos from the other side where we were on that road but this, you can't see them from here unfortunately or we'll come back when it dries up a little bit maybe in a few weeks time when the path is not so muddy so we can get close to the water's edge and close to the flamingos in the meantime we'll go down and see what the shooting club's all about right so there's the clubhouse over there it's quite a smart clubhouse isn't it it says club office cartridges and clays and I suspect this is where you do the shooting so here we are Matt look look spent cartridges on the floor and I think this is the slingshot throws the clays out here see yeah. there we are what's all this oh they're uh, the clays look all smashed up There we are. What's in this little cabin here? Oh, another post, another slingshot lock. Oh, look, there's a machine in there, look. See? Oh, and it flicks it out here, guys. Look, out this hole. And off it goes. And that's what that's for up there. Can you see? That's got a slingshot in it as well. well what are these? I thought these were slingshots. Let's open up and have a look. No, they're not, guys. They're lights. Some sort of light or counting thing. I'm not too sure. I'm not really into clay pigeon shooting. I'm not sure, guys. But they're definitely the slingshots in those tower. And there's one on the side of the tower and one in this box here. Right, so we've got a shooting range here. And there's one over there, similar sort of thing. There's the clubhouse. It's all closed at the moment. It's very popular in the summer, apparently. I've just seen a chap over there. And you can come here and pay for the day. There we are. Right, so it looks like it's open every day, Monday through to Sunday opens at nine to midday at the moment and i think the hours will change in the summer it gets more popular in the summer so you can come down here and buy your clays or whatever they are round disky things and have a go it's got a little taverna as well look lovely little taverna here Oh, there's some more areas where you can practice your clay pigeon shooting. Look, one over there and it goes further down. So we've got one, two, three, four areas at least all going down this road. Loads of car parking. Yeah, look, let's have a look at this one, shall we? Yeah, this is A. There we are. Oh, they're little speakers, look. There we are. Little speakers. Telling you when to shoot. There's a slingshot in that little cabin. Oh, what's beyond there? Let's go and have a look. Oh, look, there's a the little spectators area as well on this particular one. Oh, 
loads of spent cartridges everywhere. Let's go down, see what's going on. Right, what we got here? Oh, this is a posh one. Look at this. This is probably where the competitions take place. Look at this one. No, I'm not sure what these are for. These things. It's more of those speaker things. Control area. Oh, another spectator stand. Let's carry on through. Oh, another area and yet another one right at the end. Loads of slingshots everywhere, all loaded up. Go and have a look at one of them. Oh look, there's a spectator's tower. I wonder if we can get up there. Have a look. Oh yeah. Looks open. Go up and have a look, shall we? Ooh. Up we go. Be careful, it's a bit um, handmade. Oh, it's quite sturdy actually. Oh, it's a slingshot up here. Right, okay. Not for spectators at all. Oh, look, got a good view of the lake. Look at that. Still can't see the flamingos. The only place I spotted them was on that road behind 1st April Street. Well, at least we've got a good view of the lake. It's loads of ranges, look. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six there. No, can't see the flamingos. They are there, we did spot them. They're behind that tree somewhere. I'll go in this corner, see if I can see them. No. Far corner, I think, behind that tree. That's where they normally are. That's where they were last year. We did get a good view of them last year. Don't think we had as much rain. And it weren't as muddy, so we've got right next to the lake. There we go. Okay, here we are. Right, let's go to this last shooting range. There's a chappy sorting the place out, locking up. There we are. Oh, this is a nice one, isn't it? Look. This one looks quite new. All the speakers are new. The viewing stand is all covered up. Yet another tower. Look where the slingshot is. Let's see if we can get up there, shall we? And get an even better view of the uh, lake. Oh, there's another shooting range right at the end wow so this place is fast didn't expect it to be this big so we've got a spiral staircase and we'll go up here we are at the top there's another slingshot and then we'll peep through this hole and we can see the lake There you are. Right, we're back down. What an amazing area. Be quite nice to come down here in the summer. Have a slow beer at the Taverna. Sit in the spectator stand. And watch a bit of clay pigeon shooting. 
when I get a chance I'll drive past again find out when there's a competition on or something going on in here and I'll come down ah there's a phone number oh no that's for the hearing stuff Right, we've got a phone number, 998558608. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed that little stroll looking for the flamingos and the clay pigeon shooting club. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.